If you like the song you heard in the intro, the song is by a local artist here in Philly named Kid Degree. I'll put her SoundCloud down in the description box and you can jam out. Hi, Glee Mommies, it's Tanya M. Welcome back to my channel. For those who do not know me or you're new here, my name is Tanya M, aka Diabla Verde. We're going to be doing another wig review today before we get into that. If you like this unit, you can click the card above or you can click the link in the description box and it'll take you right to that review. Also, if you like to see pictures and updates on products I review here, such as wigs and makeup, please go over to my Instagram. The link will be down in the description box. Let's get into this video. So today's wig we're going to be doing a review on is by the Janet Collection and her name is Juliana. I have her in the color too. She is a full cap unit with a lace parting, so y'all know how I feel about those. Although they're just they're just seeming to like take over um, the the newer wigs nowadays. They just seem to be lace a full cap with lace parting. Like f the lace around the around the perimeter of your face. Like just that's not what they're trying to do anymore. <laughs> I would appreciate if y'all would bring back the lace fronts. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna take her out of the box and then we can look at the cap construction and whatnot. So. So this is what she looks like. She's really soft. I actually like the hair. I like the hair, it feels really soft. This is one of those wigs that you just, you're not gonna be able to comb at all. Like you're, you're not gonna comb it. The part is um, way too tight, needs to be plucked. And the, there's baby hairs. There's definitely baby hairs, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to cut this one because this is how I make my lace uh, parting wigs lay flat like you see here. Like it makes it the line of demarcation. You can barely see it. I basically cut like a V in there and make it, um, it, it blends in with the, your part better. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so I probably won't be, end up be able to use these baby hairs, but they're... Let's see. There's a few baby hairs. No, it's well, yeah. There's a few baby hairs around the rest of the perimeter of the wig, so we can work with that. So okay. So there are two. The oh, the pat the parting is pretty deep. Also, um, there's two combs by the parting in the front, a comb in the back, and adjustable straps. All right, so it is the whole like theme for this wig is the extended part. So that's why the part is so long on there. So I'm going to go ahead and customize her, put her on, and then we can go back and talk about um, the wig, the quality, and the cap cut, and my thoughts on it and all that. <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm back. I customized the unit, opened the part way more than it was because it was really tight. Yeah, so I did not, I'm not going to comb this unit out. This unit just screams big hair once you comb her out. I know it is. This hair is like a one hit quitter. Okay, so let's talk about the length. What is with these long wavy units? Okay, this, this one isn't that long, I would say. It's about 22 inches, 22, 20. I'm gonna say 22 inches. It's gonna be 22 inches. I'm 5'2. That's that's how I'm gauging it. And um, yeah, so I did have to flatten her out because she was deaf humpy at the top. She was very humpy up there. Um, what else did I have to do to it? Nothing else really. Okay, so she is a lace parting unit, full cap, meaning it's only lace right here in the part. And um, why is it sticking up? Oh. Oh, a piece of this is sticking up. Anyway, I can be cut. But um, it's a piece of track sticking up. But um, she does not have ear tabs. So you can switch her from the left to right if you like. That's totally fine. I don't see this wig having longevity just because of the texture of the hair and the curl pattern they gave you, gave it. I mean, she could be pretty big. Like, if you trim her and have her big, it smells like plastic. <laughs> but um, I just don't see longevity with this unit at all especially because of the texture she is very pretty though so this could be a cheap wig to purchase for a one night out you have it you need it for one purpose one day only and there you go it is big head friendly i will say that easy easy peasy it does come with baby hairs which is really nice and um that's that's really that's all i can say about it um i don't see a whole 
I don't see it as being a negative wig, <clears throat> but I don't see it as being something that you gotta run out and grab. This wig is gonna be here whether you decide to buy it now or a few months from now. This wig is gonna be here. I don't see this selling like hotcakes. I just don't. I don't, guys. So when I saw her on the stock card, I definitely was like, yeah, so cute. But after people watch these reviews and they get the idea that I'm pretty sure a lot of YouTubers are gonna say that this wig ain't gonna last that long i do love her in the plain color i feel like if it i feel like the hair would be more rough if it was in a um if it was like a lighter color because lighter hair lighter synthetic hair units tend to be more rough for whatever reason the hair is more dry or not that's all i gotta say about this unit if you like honest reviews and you want to see some more don't forget to hit that subscription button down below also ring the bell that way you'll be notified anytime i upload new videos thanks bye